This is how you get saved. Follow the ABC on there. Admit you're a sinner, believe Jesus is Lord. Do you not believe saved. I'm a fucking sinner? I know I've sinned. Right, we'll take it. I've made so many sins in my fucking life. No one helps me. But when you do that, if you follow the ABC on that from your heart, you cry out to I Jesus, do. follow the ABC on this. I will. You gotta be born again. We're dead in can our I, sin. Can I finish with her and then I'll come to but you? But you're deceiving I, her. Yeah, yeah, I want you. I, want you I don't to, want you to deceive I, I, her. I, I, I want you. <laughs> I don't want you to oh, 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 worry. Oh, oh, I'll take all your, I'll take all your what you're saying with me. Oh, okay. okay. Seventh day Adventist. And don't worry, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm That's fine. That's all right. Now come to me. Now tell me what, right. what is it I'm you're saying now. So. You, you've spoken a lot about yeah. deception. What is it? What do you have against us? Well, for a start, you believe you have to keep the seventh, seventh day event. Yeah, we are saying that. Do you know yeah. why? Do you know what so it means? Jesus is our rest. Do you know what it means? Yeah, you believe that after Jesus saved, that Jesus, you have to keep the Sabbath day to be saved. Yeah, Sabbath, you know, it's the Sabbath day, what is it in so your it's understanding? A, so it's the seventh day of the week. Yeah? Yeah, so you keep that as part of your salvation requirements. No, 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 salvation requirement is part of the law. Yeah, but we're not you, under the law. Do you believe you have... We're to, under grace. We die to the law so that we can live for so, God and bear fruit. So That's can what you commit, the Bible teaches. Can you sleep with another man's uh, husband? When the Bible says, Jesus says, when he saves you, mm -hmm. he changes you. Titus 2.11. Mm -hmm. It's that same grace that saves you, that enables you to live godly. Mm -hmm. It's not about what we do. It's about believing and trusting in what Jesus has done. Mm -hmm. He tells us in John chapter 3, unless a man be born again, mm -hmm. he cannot see the kingdom of God. What is, Religion, being, born, what is being born again? It's when God himself, Ezekiel 30, 626 yeah. takes your heart of stone gives yeah. you a heart of flesh puts his holy spirit in you and enables you to walk in his ways you die to your old self you become a new creature in christ right. that's what it means to be born again and the so, blood of christ on, washes hold on, hold away on, our sin hold on, hold on. not water baptism what did jesus say if you love him you have to do no after jesus saves you gives you a new heart christ in you produces the fruit of the spirit and enables you to live godly titus 2 11. that same grace that saves us enables us to live godly but under no circumstances are we saved by our works and we're not kept saved by our works we are filthy wretched sinners the only hope we have is believing and trusting in jesus christ when we come to jesus he transforms us from the inside out we are born again that's what it means it's not about keeping sabbath keeping law we die to the law so that we can live for god galatians 5 4 if you seek justification through works of the law you are under a curse, Galatians 3. Galatians 5, 4 says that Christ is of no use to you. You need to study the book of Galatians because you're being deceived by this false religion. Ellen G. White was a false prophet that claimed that Satan was the sin bearer, that she saw a vision in heaven of God putting show the me, sin show, show me, on show me, Satan. Show me why she said that. Did well, you that? have to study it yourself. You can look it no, up. No, you so, have to look it up. No, so, I do not have access to my phone because so, so, I'm recording. So don't make it. Don't, don't no, make, no, no, don't no. no this isn't this is this is a war. This no. is about Jesus. This no, is about his truth. You're deceiving people by being here today. Noise, so now, no, you're deceiving listen, people by being here today. Don't make noise, because more noise, you, want me, you, you can't win me by making noise. Well, okay. And yelling at right, me. Alright, fine, yeah? fine, fine. It's called passion, so, so, but the truth. So, now let me ask you, what does Jesus say if you love him to do? After he saves you. No, 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 no. After he saves you. You obey him through the work and power of the no, Holy no, no, Spirit. No, no. Not to be saved. No, he doesn't say that. But not to be saved. Let me open but for because you. you've been saved. You can't know Jesus. You can't love Jesus without regeneration, without the Holy Spirit, without being born again. You're made alive. He what breathes is love? the what Holy is love? Spirit. What is love? You're trying to get to heaven by being good. No, You're in love? disobedience to Jesus. You're yelling now. You're in disobedience You're to yelling Jesus. Now. You're well, there's music playing in the background. No, no, no. There, you are in, you're in rebellion. You're, you're in rebellion. You put your faith and trust in a woman that was spoken out of her imagination. I'm in rebellion. Okay, I'm in rebellion. What am yeah. I rebelling against? Because but through works of the law, no flesh will be justified. Who said who, who Romans said that? chapter 3. Uh -huh. The law is there to serve as a schoolmaster to show us our need for a saviour. Uh -huh. Okay? A schoolmaster. We're not under the old covenant anymore. Christ has fulfilled it. What is the old covenant you're talking about? Which when God gave the law to Moses, he wrote the law in stone. Uh, when no, God no, no, changed out. it, no. Listen, out. I am not finished. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. When God gave the law to Moses. Which they, law is that? Which law? The Ten Commandments. Oh, there's this, two laws he gave to Moses. No, no. He gave the Ten Commandments and the 1613 Jewish laws. Do you want me to open, do you want right. me, do you want me to open the Bible for you? All right, get it out. You're not quoting the Bible. Let me open the Bible. Get it out.
But that's what, we're, uh, that's what we preach. We don't, we don't preach that. No, we're you, so you're keeping law. people in bondage to the law. We're not under the law, no, we're under no, grace. No, no. But Jesus, no, you forget. Uh, uh, oh, no, anyway, let, let me open for you first. Yeah? Yeah, let me open for her first. Um, Jesus, you, know that. you have to keep the Sabbath you know day that. to be saved. No, 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 no. no you're not, you're, that's that's no, what you have to do. You can't keep the law. You can't keep the law. So you tell the lie. Because the Bible says if you stumble at one point in the law, James chapter 2, you're guilty of breaking all of it. He repeats that in Ezekiel. A righteous man falls seven times and seven times he gets up. You're trying to be saved by your words no, no, when you no, serve no, before no, the Almighty no, God. No, you're not going to no, get no, to heaven. No, no. no. You're not going to get to heaven by your works. We never preach see, it. Let me, let me, let me show you, let me show you the scriptures because you're not talking the scriptures anyway. Well, that's because, all right, I believe fine. if you are, we are Christian. No, you're not Christian. Are, you're not a Christian. You're deceiving people. L.N.G. White was a liar and a false prophet. We are, and you're deceiving people. We are, we are, no, we take us to the law. What was the law that God gave to no, Moses? Hold, hold We're not under the old, no, hold, stick to one topic at a time. No, I'm going there. We're going there now. We're going there now. Hold on, don't, don't, hold on. So, uh, the words in red is Jesus speaking, yeah? Yeah. Talk that Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit. And in chapter 14, verse 15, he says, If you love me, yeah. that is Jesus. If you love Jesus. If you love me, keep, let me, let keep me read. What? Keep what? Keep my commandments. Aha, uh -huh. what commandments are this is speaking about? Okay, so you think he's talking about the old covenant that uh -huh. Jesus fulfilled? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll show you so, why. No, no, you why. no, it's not. You've got to rightly divide God's what's word. It tells so, you what the commandments what's, what's, what's are. What's this one here? He said, The new commandment I give you that you love one another no, no, as no, I no, have no, loved no. you. No, no. no. You're, he fulfilled the old law. Matt, see, you're not rightly dividing God's no, word. You're jumping around Matthew, like a monkey. Focus. No, Let's focus. No, like, you're focus. trying to. No, you're not. You're taking Bible verses out of context. Let me, let me, let me give you another Matthew, one. Matthew chapter 5. Jesus said, one. I came not to abolish the law, but uh -huh. to fulfill. But to fulfill. Uh -huh. what is fulfilling? Fulfill. What do you fulfilling? think that means? I tell you. Can I no. tell you? Yeah, okay. Can I tell you. Down. Fulfilling means Jesus himself, the author of the law, Showing us. See how they're how making it up as they're going the, along. The other of the law. They're making it up. Yeah, I'm making it up. You the are. Other of the other law, showing us how to keep that law because. That's oh my goodness, that's what fulfill means. He yeah. needs to go back to yeah. school and learn what it means. Yeah, fulfill me. means that that law was fulfilled. Jesus completed it, and now in Him we are complete. Romans 3:22. We become the righteousness of God for our faith in Jesus Christ. He is talking absolute rubbish. This is what religious people do. They will twist the scriptures much to their own destruction to make it say what they wanted to say. We are not under the old covenant under no more. We're under the new one. God wrote the law of Moses in stone and Jeremiah 31, 31, he writes the law in your heart. You have to be born again. God puts the law in your heart when he saves you. What does it mean to be born again? What does it mean to be born again? This is the rubbish that they're coming out with. They're here deceiving people. He's laughing and mocking and being a scoffer. You know, the Bible says that the things of God are spiritually discerned. You're religious. You have no relationship with Jesus. What is spiritual You're deceiving people. You're deceiving people. It means that you need the Holy Spirit to understand the message of salvation. Salvation is by grace. Through faith in grace? Jesus Christ, yeah, not grace? of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, you don't know Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. You say you love him, but you twist the scriptures to make it say what you want. Uh, and no, then you no, deceive no. other people to get them to follow your dead prophet who's now. in hell because now. of her lies. And you follow what she says. No, I don't want people you, to be deceived. Focus, focus, no, I don't want people to be focus, deceived. Focus, in hell, you say she's in hell. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Elegy White would be. Ellen G. White would be awaiting her judgment and she's going to the where's lake of fire. Where's where's she hell? was a liar and a false prophet. Where's she's going to the lake about? of fire. Hell is a very real place. Is it? Hell is a real where's place, yeah. Where? Where we'll go to Gal 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 Revelation 22 then. All right, all right. They deny hell, but Ellen G. White will be going there and it will be a very hot place for her. Very hot place. Hold very hold hot hold place. Hold Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Or 22. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your they twist the scriptures. Twist the scriptures. Yeah. And then we have to rightly divide.